So each um, year during the spring season, we take in a lot of young nestlings and fledglings, um, not only raptors, but songbirds too. And most of the time, the majority of these birds were not actually orphaned or abandoned. They were perfectly healthy birds uh, that were f being raised by their parents and in good condi body condition and good shape. And unfortunately, people, uh, when they see these birds on the ground, they don't see their parents. They mistake them for being abandoned or orphaned, so they bring them to us. So we try to discourage that because actually songbirds and owls and hawks are on the ground for like a month at least, if not more, learning how to hunt, how to fly, and things like that before they become completely independent of their parents. When we bring a bird in, usually the vet school calls us. We have people drop them off at the vet school instead of coming directly to the center. And so once we bring the bird back, if he's stable enough, Liz and Dr. Bella will do a physical exam on the bird and they'll actually draw blood. And usually either that day or the next day, they'll go ahead and take radiographs if they feel something's broken. And so they do a full physical workout on each and every bird that comes into the center. We take in roughly around um, 270, 250 to 275 a year. And right now I'd say we probably have like 60 birds, I think. For a healthy bird, if the, everything checks out on the exam, um, sometimes we have what we call a raptor concussion. They just hit a window really hard and there's nothing really wrong with the bird. He just got knocked out for a little bit. Um, as soon as we can get him in the aviary and make sure that he's flying and he's at a healthy weight, we'll release them. And so we try to not keep them any longer than we have to because they, they want to be in the wild. They don't want to be here.